think oftentimes when we think of somebody who's a hometown hero, we think someone who was born in Fort Wayne, raised in Fort Wayne, and has stayed in Fort Wayne and contributed to Fort Wayne. I think that that is one definition of a hometown hero, but I think that there is another definition as well. And the other one I think is somebody who has moved to Fort Wayne and has said, now this is my community and I'm gonna give all my resources, my talent, my knowledge to better every single individual in this community. I believe that is who Irene is. Irene does this for this community and then some. Since moving to Fort Wayne, she has contributed to numerous projects and initiatives. Irene has worked on some federal housing projects, she's done research, she has done international community outreach, translating services, interpretation services. She has done so many things throughout this community to help benefit people who are immigrants and refugees because she recognizes that as she has learned to call Fort Wayne home, she wants to welcome everyone else and make sure that if you can call it home, everyone should be able to call it home. She also launched a disaster plan for immigrants and refugees. She also developed the first community-based language training interpreter program for our community. Irene oversaw four editions in three languages of the International Guide to Greater Fort Wayne. <laughs> Irene's first language is Italian. She also speaks fluent English and has extensive knowledge of French and Spanish. Because of her knowledge of language and her travels that have been all across the US, Europe, and Sub-Saharan Africa, she is able to reach populations of people and has been able to engage people with different language backgrounds but also different cultural backgrounds to make sure that everybody feels like they have a place here in Fort Wayne. And NA currently leads Amani Family Services where they do a variety of programs, a few of which are interpretation and translation services, as well as community outreach and family services. She also has extensive knowledge of medical interpretation, which is a completely different form of translation. Uh, some might think they're all the same, but medical interpretation is a lot different. Amani also does a lot with family support and victim care. Without Irene in our community, I do believe that the immigrant and refugee population would probably be under-supported and overlooked. I met Irene on a panel that I asked her to be a part of for a diversity training, and she was there just to represent people of different cultural backgrounds and help us get a little bit more knowledge of what people go through. And one of the most impactful stories I feel like she shared was Oftentimes we think, well, why can't kids who are maybe first generation Americans translate for their parents? But she helped us see that sometimes if you go into a medical situation and a child is interpreting some really bad news for their parent, that child now has the emotional trauma of having to tell their parent that they have cancer, that they are sick, anything like that. That shouldn't be a child's job. And so what Irene and Amani Family Services does is they step in and they're that gap that's really needed for people so that they still get all the information they need, but it's not putting any undue pressure on the family. They get to support the holistic family through that. So Irene came, she shared a lot of information with us, but that was one thing that really stood out to me that I will never forget.